know what you're gonna do? You know, I know what I'm gonna do and simultaneously have no idea. Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sure Grip Roller Skates. Today I'm here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center to talk to you about skating backwards. Specifically, we're gonna do cross pulls in a figure eight in an attempt to help you become a better backward skater. So this is gonna be a drill, but also a full-blown tutorial on how to do a cross pull. Now, I have done this video previously. I'm gonna link it below, but hopefully we're gonna update it with some things that I've learned along the way from feedback from you guys. Today's video is sponsored by PigeonSkates.com. They're located here in Long Beach, California. You can get them online. You can get everything from skates to wheels, to bearings, to plates, accessories galore, t-shirts, really so many different things for skating. So make sure you go ahead and check them out. And when you order something, you just tell them Dirty sent you and they'll take good care of you, I promise. Okay, let's get started with today's instructional video on how to do backwards cross pulls. They're called cross pulls for a reason. It is because you are skating backwards. Your feet are out parallel. You're going to put your weight down. You're gonna lift your weight up. Your front foot is gonna cross. Your back foot is going to pull. Cross, pull, cross, pull, cross, pull, cross, pull. The best thing about a cross pull is you can gain so much energy, speed, and power with very little effort. Okay, as usual, I'm gonna teach you step by step how to do this so that you can remember how to practice this step by step. I'm not even joking, this is difficult. If you are a beginner skater, just because it's difficult doesn't mean you shouldn't give it a shot. I'm just wanting you to manage your expectations, okay? This can be quite a difficult skill. So again, we're gonna go through it step by step so that you understand it and you can practice it step by step. I suggest that we do it in a circle. This helps. So if, let's say you're outside, you take a chalk with a string, have someone hold the string, you got the chalk out here, skate around and draw a nice big circle. This will really be helpful. Once you've got your circle drawn out, you're gonna stand with the line in between your legs. You have to always be looking in the direction you're going. This is very helpful. So if I'm heading this way, I've got to turn my head and be looking at the line. Look at the line. So if you, you have to already know how to skate backwards, okay? I, I ain't gonna lie. If you don't know how to skate backwards, this is not the a thing for you to be trying. But bear with me, we'll plant seeds. If you can't backwards skate now, just listen along and absorb it all. You're gonna be looking at the line. I want you to take your right arm and put it on the line in front of you. I don't want you to stick your back arm, which to me is my left, and stick it on the line behind me. I'm gonna turn my head and look at the line. The very first thing I'm gonna do is drop my body weight, and I'm going to put my feet in a V position. I'm gonna lift up my feet and focus on just following the line. Following the line, following the line. Just picking my feet up and setting them down. Oh my God. I'm just gaining speed here with barely any effort. 
Now, the next part I need to do is put weight on the foot that's inside, inside to the circle. For me, in this direction, it happens to be my left. So I've already gone step, 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 step to gain my original momentum. Then I start putting more and more and more weight on my left foot, which is inside. So again, we're gonna be picking them up, setting them down, pick them up, set it down, push down, up, down, up, down with your body weight up, down with your body weight up, down with your body weight up, down, up. Once we've gotten to that part, now I want you to start feeling like what it's like to put your weight on the outside foot. So we're gonna go up, up and down, up and down, both feet to gain momentum. We're gonna put a lot of weight on the outside, inside, outside, inside, outside foot, inside foot, outside foot, inside foot. When I go outside, I don't know if you notice this, but you can see my inside foot pick up a bit. Down, up, down, up, down, up. This kind of down, up is super important because the biggest challenge that people most often have when they're trying to do a cross pull is being able to pick up their foot that's on the inside and step into the circle to pull it behind. They have a lot of challenges balancing on their, which the outside foot here is my right, it's basically a right inside edge. They have a hard time balancing like this in order to pick up the foot and pull it behind. So, again, just pick up your feet to get momentum. Then put a lot of weight on the left. Now more weight on the right, pick up the left foot. More weight on the right, pick up the left foot. More weight on the right, pick up the left foot. So what we've done in this simple exercise is help orientate ourselves to where our body weight needs to be. And we're making sure that we can balance on each foot. Very, very important. Now we're going to try to increase our momentum by reaching out with our leg that's closest to the center. For me, this is gonna be my left leg. So what's gonna happen? I'm looking over my shoulder, left hands on the line, right hands on the line. I pick up my feet for a little bit of momentum, bend my knees, lift up my left hip, reach out to the inside with my left foot, bend my knees, pull it back and cross, reach out, pull it back and cross, reach out, pull it back and cross, reach out, pull it back and cross. A couple of very difficult but important things need to happen when I reach out and I'm pulling it back. The act of reaching out with the foot to the inside and pulling it back feels fairly natural because at any point when we split our legs, we're like, mm, I want them to come back together. That seems safe, right? We reach out like this and you want to pull it back. At the same time that you're pulling it back, your other foot has to do this crazy little maneuver. Your other foot has to take the heel and go boop like this to cross to make sure you're not hitting your feet. So many people get scared of this and end up looking down because they think that this is gonna happen, that they're gonna hit, they're gonna hit. And there is a very good chance you will hit your feet, you will cross them into each other, that you could fall if you don't drop your body weight down, lift it up, and as you're pulling your back foot in, take your front foot and turn it at an angle, all right? So let's go over that again. So. Chin up, shoulders straight across, snacks are tight. Left arm, right arm, down. Gonna pick up my feet for a little bit of momentum because it's always easier when we're going a little bit faster. Put my weight on my right foot, pick up my left hip, pick up my left foot, set it down. My body weight is down here. When I lift, turn this foot. Reach out, turn this foot. 
reach out, turn the front foot. If you have difficulty angling your front foot heel so it doesn't hit your back, I've got a little, little, little tip for you, a little trick. I want you to flex your toes downward over your front axle. When you do that, when I do that, I flex my front, my toes down over my front axle, it'll lift my heel up just enough. When it lifts my heel up just enough, I can turn my foot just enough to clear my back skate that is pulling. Now, all of your power and momentum in a cross pull comes from your back foot your back leg, your back butt, you know. This whole side, because I'm doing it this direction, okay, so it's pull. It, power comes from the pull is what I'm trying to say. Power comes from the pull. Probably one of the biggest mistakes I see skaters make and it find, they find themselves really challenged by this is they're focused on the front foot and it makes it look like this. This is me focusing on putting my front foot over my back. Sure, I can gain some momentum doing this this way, but there's a lot less control and there's definitely no power. As soon as I start flipping to the back foot, this is where you get a lot of power, my friends, is in the back foot. Now, as always, I highly encourage you to be both a left-handed and a right-handed skater. So what we're gonna do is figure eights. I love figure eights. You gotta be able to go both directions all the time. This will make you a better skater in the long run. So, this is how you do it. Skate backwards on your line. Hands over the lines. Drop your body weight down. Step into the circle, cross and pull. Step into the circle, cross and pull. Weights down, pop it up, down, pop it up, down, pull that weight up as soon as I get to the center. It's up and around. Now I'm pulling with my right foot. I go up and around, <laughs> pulling with my left really wish I would have pulled my hair up. Pulling with my right foot. Pulling with my left. All right. I want to say one more thing. When you do your cross pulls, you are dealing with a couple of different edges here. So when I'm skating backwards, I'm on a back outside edge as I lean forward here. When I reach out, I'm pulling with my inside edge, pulling with my inside edge, pulling with my inside edge, up and around, stick my back foot to the center and pull with your inside edge. All right, skaters, it is going to take time patience, a little bit of faith in order for you to get really good at doing cross pulls. But they are literally the gateway into doing so many other things in skating. So I impress upon you so much to practice. All right, skaters, that's what I've got for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do me a favor and just share this thing. Because the more you share it, the more people know about it, the more skaters we have and all that jazz. And I really, really appreciate it. And I know I haven't talked to you guys about this in a long time, but remember back in the days when this channel only had like 10,000 subscribers and I'd just be on here begging for people to hit that uh, subscribe button. And then we got 100,000 and now we're at like 120, which I'm super stoked. So, uh, you know, if you haven't already joined this little group and hit that bell so you can get all my videos, please feel free to do it now. That way I can keep sending out more videos and helping you guys learn how to roller skate. And you need to go practice. All right, skaters, thank you. We'll see you next time.